Okay, now one of my favorite projects, showing you guys how to design the sneakers. All right, these are Jordan 4s with a notebook theme. All right, I'm going to show you guys what I started with, and this is what I came up with. All right, I'm also going to use uh, this particular Mickey Mouse one to show you guys what I'm up, what I'm doing, uh, examples of how I got Mickey Mouse. But before I do that, I want to show you guys how to do the um, sneakers. Here are examples of other students who did sneakers in the class, and they did a really, really beautiful job. So you go to studentportfoliony.com, you click on the drop menu, you go to sneaker design, which is right here, and boom, you have a whole bunch of gorgeous, gorgeous sneakers done by all of my students. Um, very proud of what they've done. All right, and these are just a couple. I love the Wonka one. Look at that, Willy Wonka. All right, now here's how you do this. First things first, you got to start with this thing right here. You want to start with, rah, take away, you want to have a background template theme. All right, here's how we're going to do this. First things first. Found a pair of the Jordan 4s, big size. Does not have to be Jordan 4s, can be boots, high heels. I do not care. There is no preference. We're going to go to File, New. I am going to create a brand new one, and I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, Special, um, just paste. All right, now I've got my sneaker. First thing I want to do, I want to put, this is the Mickey Mouse one. I'm going to do the Mickey one, which is right here. I'll move this over a little bit. So I'm going to put Mickey Mouse first. I want to put Mickey I want to put the castle of Mickey Mouse over here. So here's how I do this. I went and I found a beautiful image of Disney's castle. I've copied it. I'm now going to go into Photoshop, into my new image. I'm going to call naming every one of my layers like a nerd, which is good. So I'm going to call this original. Original. Now that original is done, I'm going to throw out the background. It is not necessary. I'm going to go to edit, paste. I'm going to lower the opacity of this. Before I actually do that, I want to change this to multiply. Now, watch this. By lowering it, the opacity, I could see where I want the castle to live. I'm going to click the Move tool and shrink it down. And, and now that I have this shrunken down, that's exactly where I would like the castle. Watch how we do. By shrinking the castle and lowering the opacity of it, I'm able to see exactly uh, you know underneath where I would like it so I'm gonna click on the eraser tool now I'm gonna get a soft edge and I'm gonna make it kinda big a little bit bigger than that and I'm gonna start watch how easy it is erasing make this a little bit bigger I'm gonna erase parts that I do not need right over to here and erasing this I'm not gonna get crazy crazy detailed with this but I am going to erase parts that I don't need all right, now I can erase this part over here and watch this. Look at this. I could bring this up and now I've got some of the Disney castle over here. All right, and you can get super close and watch. I can use the eraser tool. I could change this. I can go to a hard edge now. I could shrink that edge and look, I could now kiss the edge completely. Whoopsie completely kissing that edge right there going along the shadow I am flying through this I'm going quick in the essence of time so that I could see what I'm doing I'll lower the opacity and now I got my seams cut all right and now I've cut that out so that's easy all right so we see that and now I'll double click this make it full size and now you can see how it's completely along there and I have this this part is a little bit overlaid I don't want it so I can erase in here as well can get close to the edge and now we see that that's fine that we see how to put that in there now now let's say that I want to put Mickey I want to put Mickey Mouse as a graphic over here and I want the word Disney over here no problem so I'll go to the Im the internet I'll get a picture of Mickey Mouse really quickly first things first I'll copy Mickey copy the image I'll go into Photoshop I'm gonna go to edit paste now I got Mickey in there. I'm going to use the magic wand tool. Click only on the white. I'm going to delete the white. Control D, Control T. I'm going to shrink Mickey down. Now Mickey is here. I want to put Mickey like right about there. I like it like that. Right about there is good. But look, I want to be able to see the bottom. I'm going to call this Mickey. I'm going to call this the castle. 
and I'm now naming my layers and the original always stays the same never gets touched in the Mickey layer I'm gonna lower the opacity because I can see which layer he is in I'm lowering the opacity down significantly I'm gonna get super close to Mickey I'm gonna move him so I could see right where he would have gotten cut off I'm gonna click the magnifier and back out just a little bit holding alt and you can back out now check it out I'm using the polygonal lasso I'm gonna cut him over here I want to cut the tail off too and now boom uh, you can hit delete control D to deselect control zero and now I can bring the opacity of Mickey back up I got Mickey on the bottom love it I want to put Disney over here watch how we do this go straight to the internet get the word Disney I found the logo copying the image I'm gonna go back into Photoshop now I'm gonna go to edit paste now I got Disney in there let's get close to Disney let's hold shift I'm sorry let's click on the magic wand tool holding shift slick click on all of the different letters selecting D I S N E and the Y control X cut it out throw this out it's trash I'm gonna hit control zero control V and paste it I'm gonna use the move tool and move Mick, uh, Disney over to here I'm gonna then hit control L and now I want to make this black now I've got Disney in black I'll hit OK I'm going to shrink this down now and now that I've got this shrunken down I'm gonna move it over to here and get it right here I want Disney to fit real sleek right in there boom now I got Disney written in here and that's that now let's say I want to make this one strap red this is important I want to show you guys a little trick on how to make this the exact same color as his pants click on the eyedropper tool so this is if you have a graphic and you want to make it consistent I clicked on the eyedropper tool now watch this I'm just going to um, take the uh, every one of the layers away I'm gonna in the original layer watch this this is very important I'm gonna go to the polygonal lasso tool I'm gonna get close this is kinda takes a little bit of time you should do this for every time you want to brush a color on something I'm gonna cover over this and I'm now cu cutting this one little piece out this one little area I'm going to be making in red and now that I've done that on the original layer I'm gonna go to edit copy do not do cut control Z edit copy edit paste paste special paste in place bring it up to the top I'll bring back every single one of my layers again it's cool I'm gonna call this well which one is this one this is Disney this one is gonna be called I'll call it side for now in the side layer watch this I'm gonna duplicate it so I get two of them in case I wanted to do something else on it now in this side layer watch this I'm gonna click on the brush tool and I already have my red pre-selected in the side copy I'm coloring red over it beautiful now watch this I am going to take the eraser tool and I can just erase the parts that I don't want in the middle I'll get closer even closer into the middle I'm gonna use the eraser tool or I'm gonna shrink it down all right and now watch I'm erasing parts that I do not want right in there okay so now I'm just erasing the parts that I do not need over here all right boom and you can really see it in there and that's it good now you can also use here's a little hack the lasso tool and I'm going to lasso away the parts that I don't need so now we've seen the lasso tool and hit delete control zero all right last one control D watch this I'm gonna come into here use the polygonal lasso and I'm going super quick now in the essence of time I'm just gonna cut this one little layer out again watch this edit cut get rid of this this is trash and now that I've deleted that I'm gonna go to edit paste special paste in place and look now I have it there and it looks pretty good if you have a gap like this I'm gonna show you a little hack if I go close into here 
if I go close into here, watch this. I can use, all right, a quick little hack is if you guys have an issue over here, you can, um, like you don't like the space that you see, you can hit, you can click on the stamp tool, you can hold, and you can stamp areas that you want to close in a little bit and close in the gap and no one will know what's there but you because you're then going to erase it oopsie control z you would then erase it and now you don't have the gap as much anymore oopsie boom no one will notice that part all right so you back out and now you have a little area like that now let's say now you know how to change the color of stitches just like i did over here if you get close, you can see the color looks great. The stitches are good. They're looking good there. I even have the notebook in here as the graphic I showed you. To change the levels of something, you know how to do that because as you get out, watch this. I'm going to show you how to make things different levels now. So if you wanted to change the colors of specific um, elements. So here's how you do this. I want to change this to a different color. Watch. Go into the original layer. Never change anything. Get to the polygonal lasso tool. Let's get super duper close. This is really cool. You're going to like this. This is one of the most, most forgiving parts of the project. Let's get rid of all this. Let's get into here and trace this sucker. We're going to trace this part right here. Boom. Boom. The buckles. Now, the buckles are already a color. So if you choose a template or a theme or a sneaker that already has some color on it that you want to, like, dock it up a little bit, it's pretty cool. Watch. So I'm tracing this right here. I'm going super fast. All right. I'm going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste special, paste in place. Drag this layer up to the top. Up to the top. I'm going to call it side buckle. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to then bring everything back. I'm going to hit control zero to step out. Now watch this. In the side buckle, you can hit control U. Move this out of the way. And look. You could change it to any color that you want. So, all right. Now, being that Mickey Mouse is black, I could make the saturation all the way down and do it as a, like a solid black color. All right. And it keeps it solid. Right. So you can hit OK. Now, you've learned the levels menu, which is also control L. And with the levels menu, you could change these things to make these a little bit more black and darken them. And that's the levels menu. All right. So now that we have the we have the levels menu, we've learned the control U, the hue saturation menu. All right. The, oh, it's not changing though. Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, cancel. Oh, that's because the saturation is gone. That's why the hue hue won't change. All right. But that is the way that you would change that. Now, um, the other thing I want you to look at is. There's no right or wrong here, all right? I'm just going to show you. Here's the one that I did. I've always loved to do the notebooks. I put notebook in here. You guys can do your theme. This one's based on Disney, and you saw how to brush the colors onto here. You know how to put graphics onto here. I even changed the color of my shoelaces on here. Once again, look at what other people have done on the website. This one is Willy Wonka. This person put golden tickets in there, all right? We have a whole bunch of other themes. Now, in order for this to look realistic like this, when you guys get into this part right here and you guys pl place this graphic into here, this is what's going to make that sell it. You guys got to play with these different settings. All right? So you're going to go to normal. Overlay is good. But to be honest with you, multiply is the best one that I have seen because it also gives the opportunity for you to still see the stitches and underneath it. You want to be specific about the sides over here. When you come over to here, you want to erase parts that you don't want, you know, and you can make it a little bit bigger, you know. So this way you're erasing things that you really want to keep separate as separate parts of the sneaker. It also helps if you do a soft edge. Now I've softened the edge. Now it's not so hard on the eyes and no one will really notice it. Um, on the edge and kissing the edge. Um, so that's really it. Now, listen, the themes on this sucker can be based on anything that you want. So go to studentportfolio.ny.com, look at examples of what other people have done. It could be realistic or it could be a cartoonist animated type of sneaker. Enjoy this.